everyone, I am Diksha, a student of Jawaharlal Nehru Government Engineering College and I have completed my two months industrial training in the ski department IIT Mandi under the guidance of Dr. Adarsh Patel, Assistant Professor at IIT Mandi. I have worked upon the performance analysis of Mighty Antenna System. So, here is an overview of the topics that I will be explaining, which includes introduction, multipath propagation, system model equation, key observations and results, conclusion and findings, and references. So, initially, the wireless communication relied on single input, single output systems in which the transmitter and the receiver used only a single antenna, which limited its capacity and reliability. The latest evolution of technology involves the use of massive MIMO, in which hundreds or even thousands of antennas are employed at the base station, which offers vast improvements in spectrum efficiency and coverage. 5G networks rely heavily on massive MIMO for their high capacity and low latency goal. To better understand why multi-antenna systems are essential, let us dive into the challenges faced by wireless communication systems. Wireless channels face phenomena such as multipath propagation in which the signals take multiple paths to the receiver, resulting in destructive interference and deep fade. Deep fade can severely degrade the signal strength, affecting the reliability and performance. The solution to this is introducing diversity, leveraging multiple antennas to ensure various alternative paths for communication. Now, let's explore the significance of multi-antenna systems in overcoming these challenges. The system model equation gives the relation between the transmitted signal, wireless channel, and the received signal. Here, the system model equation for four configurations, that is AW, GN, CSO, SIMO, and MIMO, is given. Here, TX is the transmitting antenna, RX is the receiving antenna, X is the transmitted signal, H is the fading channel coefficient, which represents all the effects that the wireless channel has on the transmitted signal, including attenuation, phase shift, and multipath propagation. Y is the received signal, and N is the noise that is added to the transmitted signal. In the first case of AWGN, we have the system model equation as Y is equal to X plus N. In this case, H is equal to 1, as there is only a single wired path for the transmission of the signal. In this, the Y, H, X and N are scalars. In the second case of CISO, single input, single output, we have a single antenna at the receiver and a single antenna at the transmitter. In this case, the system model equation is given by Y is equals to HX plus N and Y, H, X and N are scalars. In the third case of single input, multiple output, we have a single antenna at the transmitter and multiple antennas, let's say R number of antennas at the receiver. In this case, the system model equation is given by y is equal to hx plus n, where y is a vector of dimension r cross 1, h is a vector of dimensions r cross 1, n is also a vector of dimension r cross 1, and x is a scalar. Now, in the last case of MIMO, multiple input, multiple output, we have multiple antennas at the transmitter and multiple antennas at the receiver. Let's say we have t number of antennas at the transmitter and R number of antennas at the receiver. In this case, the system model equation is given by y is equals to hx plus n, where y is a vector of dimensions r cross 1, h is a matrix of dimensions r cross t, x is a vector of dimension t. To analyze this, I simulated their performance using MATLAB. Figure 7 shows the plot for bit error rate versus SNR for BPSK in AWGN. Figure 8 shows the plot for bit error rate versus SNR in case of CISO. From here, we can observe that with an increase in SNR, the bit error rate decreases. Also, the bit error rate decreases exponentially in case of a wired channel, which means that it decreases slowly in case of a wired channel as compared to a wireless channel. Figure 9 shows the plot for bit error rate versus SNR for SIMO and figure 10 shows the plot for bit error rate versus SNR for MIMO. From here, we can observe that the bit error rate decreases with the increase in number of receiving antennas. 
This improvement is attributable to the enhanced spatial diversity offered by the MIMO systems. From Table 3, we can observe that at a bit error rate of 10 to the power minus 6, the SNR in DB is decreasing, which means that for the transmission of a signal, less signal power is required in the case of MIMO when compared with SIMO and CISO. During my internship at the ski department IIT Mandi, I was able to gain invaluable experience that provided me with the intricacies of multi-antenna systems. This internship not only allowed me to apply the theoretical concepts I learned during my academic coursework to real-world problems, but it also encouraged me to think critically and innovatively about the challenges faced in modern communication systems. I primarily refer to the book's Principles of Modern Wireless Communication Systems by APJ Vannatham, Fundamentals of Communication Systems by John G. Pro Case, and Linear Algebra and Its Applications by Gilbert Strand.